Hello again. Uh, welcome to the uh, third and the, most likely the last part of my uh, toolbox slash workshop tour. And uh, let's start uh, with the top shelf. As you can see, there are some boxes there. I will talk you through them. The first one contains my favorite uh, flashlight. It's uh, made by Ring. Why do I like it? Because it's very strong. Uh, it has this torch light as well as a uh, regular flashlight. Uh, it is uh, powered by rechargeable batteries. It is very easy to hold and I love the function that allows you to turn it 36, uh, 360 degrees as well as bend like that. On top of it, it has very strong magnet on the base of it as well as, uh, as on the back of it so it sticks to metal objects very well, like so. Okay, plus it has this uh, little hook here on the back that allows it to be hanged like so. So I use it whenever I work on my car in confined spaces. It is perfect. The only thing I would uh, like it to uh, be improved uh, it's to make it uh, heavier on the base so when I put it standing but uh, bent a little bit the magnet is still is able to hold it in this position the moment it's not so I highly recommend this type of flashlight so the next thing here is the Karcher window cleaner I don't think I have to introduce it to anyone silver line heavy duty helping hands that I use it from time to time when I work on some uh, electronics. A Bergen uh, made oil filter wrench set uh, containing two different wrenches. Uh, I think they can fit whole range of uh, oil filters. Uh, they definitely fit my SAP 9.5. Next is Dremel uh, engraver, which is rubbish. Then I've got small gas torch, butane torch. It's quite good. It's uh, China made, but sufficient for me. Black and Decker uh, mouse uh, sander. Brake bleeding uh, bottle uh, made or imported by Sealy uh, for bleeding brake fluid, of course. And then hire some headlamps, uh, USB digital uh, microscope and some samples of paint that I left after painting my house. Then I've got whole shelves of silicone or different grade uh, Saudel fix all as you can see copper is, lithium grease and other chemicals, whole range of WD-40 and um, penetrating spray, um, brake cleaners etc. And then here I've got uh, some automotive accessories like this servo line flexible hose clamp, then um, Bergen fluid tester, Bergen automotive power probe and uh, some other uh, items. Finally my um, last shelf is the oil bleeding pan, my uh, digital soldering station. It's not some very fine brand but it's good enough. It, it heats up to 450 degrees it's sufficient for my needs uh, what else uh, I've got some plastic trim removers uh, made by Nielsen or branded as Nielsen there are others uh, branded differently but exactly the same uh, looking 8 piece uh, petrol engine compression test test kit that I used on my sub 
a couple of times and it's very easy to use very user friendly i can really recommend it some masonry tools some hardware roughneck uh, chisels heavy duty chisels like this one whole range of markers you you can't have too many of them uh, you've got Stadler carpenter pencils which are quite good some more roughneck uh, brushes of different types plastic brass and steel uh, draper uh, pry bars of different length some more hardware electrical tapes uh, another brush uh, made by roughneck and here behind the uh, tapes we've got made in england norbar uh, torque uh, wrenches uh, this one here is really good quality uh, probably I didn't have to buy such a good one for my needs because I use it only on uh, my uh, wheels So as you can see, it's really well made and it has ability to change sides of the uh, Drive it's half inch drive. It's very long very strong. Uh, I can uh, recommend that company to uh, anyone uh, as far as I know, it, it was recently bought by Snap-on, so it may um, vouch for the quality of their tools, definitely. Uh, I've got another torque wrench, which I believe is 3 8 drive. Uh, it's made by Tecton. Uh, it's definitely as, not as high quality as the Norber one. Here it comes. Okay. Oh, it's half inch uh, drive as well. Uh, what I don't like about it, apart from the finish that is not as good and not as comfortable as the Norbar one, is that it's primarily foot pounds rather than newton meters. On my bottom shelves, I've got my uh, trusty Makita tools. We've seen them before on my previous videos. It contains the uh, charger. It has the 18V DTW281 uh, impact wrench. I love it. it. It's so useful. It saved it saved my life in few on few occasions. Uh, I can recommend it to anyone. This one is brushless, so it's the newer uh, version. And then obviously the Makita drill that uh, I use almost every day. It's DHP458, it's still brushed. Uh, as I mentioned before, I use two types of batteries. Uh, oh, size-wise, three types. Uh, three amps, uh, two amps and 1.5 amps. And um, these two, two amps and three amps are Makita brand. And the 1.5 is a replacement uh, battery that is made by Energup, Energap. Uh, I find it very useful and it's half as expensive as uh, original uh, Makita brand. They fit perfectly, they work perfectly, they charge perfectly. Chinese brand Teratec, uh, angle grinder, they are wires only. Uh, I would not recommend it really to any pro or even uh, more frequent DIYer. It's not extremely strong. Uh, I've got the feeling that it's not made extremely well as well. Here I have a um, polisher, car polisher. Uh, it's uh, Nordstrand brand, which is probably another uh, Chinese brand. 
then I've got a set of Dremel tools, a set of uh, Bosch bits. This is uh, green Bosch, the value Bosch. Um, I don't value it a lot. Uh, it's not extremely high quality. A Dewalt, uh, okay, the D26411. It's quite good. Nothing special. It's like a hair dryer, really. It's just much, it's a little bit stronger. Uh, then I've got the Bosch uh, uh, belt sander. Uh, little Bosch uh, hammer drill. This one is wired for a little bit heavier jobs than Makita can uh, do, although I uh, reach for it extremely rarely. Uh, it's not really strong and Makita can deal with majority of the jobs in my opinion. Then I have introduced to you before Black & Decker Jigsaw. I'm really happy with it. I know it's cheap, I know it's Chinese, but I used it for so many jobs and it never let me down. Uh, as I mentioned before, I think the secret is to use good quality uh, bits uh, like uh, Bosch's. An extremely handful um, sand, sand uh, sponges. I've got a whole box of them. Finally, the last thing is the Makita belt. Uh, I used a lot when I was uh, dealing with the baseboard. Uh, I can I can put the drill and screwdrivers, uh, straight edge uh, marker in it, and I don't have to look for it uh, every single time. And that's it. I hope you liked it. I hope it wasn't too boring, and I wish you all the best.